Hi everyone! Recently, there has been a lot of interest in neural networks. Two of them are well known, this is the Dolly 2 Neural Network and the Mid-Journey Neural Network. The Society of Artists was divided into two camps. The first one thinks that the neural network will replace a person and they will draw projects for the artist, thereby devaluing the profession of an artist and pushing them out of the labor market. The second group thinks differently, they believe that the neural network will, on the contrary, help the artist in finding references and posing people for concepts and thereby simplify the production process and the artist will still be in demand in this direction. Perhaps even a new profession will appear, for example, neural network operator. For starters, those who do not understand what we are talking about. Not so long ago, there was a release of two neural networks Dolly 2 and Midjourney. Now you can get to Dolly 2 easily, it was open for the user. But it has restrictions for free use, you are given 15 credits which you will spend literally making a couple of renders, if you want to practice more in this program then you will need to buy additional credits. Midjourney is an open and paid neural network. Now I'm talking about each neural network in order. First on our list is Dolly 2. This neural network was still introduced a few years ago. Then it was a kind of entertainment like art breeder where you could write down a text description and the neural network showed something there. Dolly 2 can indeed generate images based on a text description, naturally only in English. One of the well-known descriptions was the loading of descriptions for the cover of a magazine, while the description was quite complex. And we got a product with a beautiful cover, what we wanted from the neural network came out. So, Dolly 2 showed himself to be a good neural network. But with Midjourney, not everything is so simple now, we can see more and more works on Instagram and ArtStation generated in Midjourney. Basically, these pictures are related to the environment, and unusual, sometimes incorrect blurs, but nevertheless like each other in their style. The neural network itself is designed in the form of a Discord server. It works in a very unusual way. And it has an insanely attractive model to attract new users who will pay money. The model is approximately the following. You join the Discord server and naturally, you immediately want to generate cool pictures, to do this, you need to go to the newbies tab among the channels and hundreds and hundreds of people hang out in each of the beginner channels. And type the command into the search bar. With your description, after which the neural network will really start to think and give you as many as four proposed options. In terms of meaning, this process resembles the work of an artist and art director. That is, in fact, you are the art director here. But the incident of the whole situation is that when you are in a public channel and enter some commands the same commands are entered by other users and there is chaos, the picture is layered on the picture, and you cannot figure out where whose picture is. You also need to know which commands to prescribe to get an acceptable result. So, to figure it out at the start, you will need to experiment properly. Midjourney will also offer you a subscription. A standard monthly subscription will be $10. This subscription will allow you to generate about 200 pictures and a richer option for $30 a month and an unlimited number of pictures that you can create. Now about how the Midjourney Neural Network is arranged. It works on a simple principle. You enter a command and a description of your job and then press enter. The neural network starts thinking and offers you four sketch options. You have several options for each option. Firstly, if you like some of the options but want to see more options, you can click on the specific variations that the neural network sent you and, based on the selected version, it will make several more versions and so on ad infinitum. Or if you are lucky and you are guaranteed to like one of the four options, you can click on the upscale button. And then the neural network will make you a picture in full quality already with all the details and studies. I must say right away that the quality of the picture will absolutely and accurately depend on the description that you specify in the neural network command. As well as the option you choose. It might turn out to be complete nonsense. So, it's pretty good art. In short, test Midjourney yourself. And write about your results in the comments under my video. And now let's talk about what we can expect from neural networks in the future. The fact that soon they will replace us all and the artist will be left without work. I have a few thoughts on this that I would like to share with you. Firstly, you should not be afraid that the neural network will leave us all without work. The Midjourney Neural Network is a cool tool that will help the artist in creating references for future masterpieces in the future. And if you have problems with the description, and you want to get yourself a unique personal underpainting where the issues of color and concept will already be resolved. For details, etc. 
and you just need to conditionally finish it there or use it as a reference and draw your own from scratch. Then mid-journey is what will help you with this. That is, I urge you to perceive the neural network not as a replacement for the artist and as an assistant, another tool to help creative people. That is, now you will not need to look for references on the internet. Spend a lot of time on this. Now everything will be in one program, which will need to prescribe commands and it will form images based on your descriptions. The second reason why artists won't be out of work anytime soon. The art industry is a huge machine and naturally, it has its own beneficiaries who will lobby for these interests. Starting from paying taxes in different countries. If all artists are fired and left at the workplace of a few, then in this situation the state will receive less taxes. The state would not benefit from such an approach. On the one hand, the employer does not have to pay wages. But no one will guarantee that the neural network will produce a quality product. And in strictly one style, and so on and so forth. The general idea is that the world community of artists is lobbying for their interests. They have their own representatives, and they are unlikely to allow this industry to simply evaporate overnight soon. For example, in many countries, there are even trade unions that protect artists. And of course, they will oppose it. They will be opposed by all sorts of corporations and those who want to cut production to save on the costly part in the form of an artist's salary by replacing them with neural networks. But it seems to me that those who create neural networks understand all this and will not specifically make them ideal, although you can argue with me by writing me a comment under the video. And the third reason why the artist will not be left without work is creativity. The neural network is not yet able to think creatively, to put an idea into illustrations. This can create a beautiful shell, but it is hardly capable of putting a soul into work or endowing a picture with meaning or sub-meaning. Perhaps in the future, the neural network will draw graphics for casual games. These are icons, chests, and buttons. So far, we should not expect meaningful and semantic work from the neural network. So, the artists who put ideas and meaning into their work obviously will not be left without work. And the neural network will do the packaging, but semantic illustrations and paintings can only be done by an artist, only a person. So, you can put the sedative in the locker and just learn to use the neural network as an assistant in your work. Keep believing in yourself and practicing your skills as a creative person. And do not forget that the idea in the picture will always win over the quality, and if you manage to combine the quality and the idea, then no neural network can compare with you. Thank you all for watching this video. Give me likes, please. Shower me with comments, it gives me the motivation to create new videos. Thank you and see you soon in the next video.